Elon Musk just revealed Optimus Gen 3 at Tesla's 2025 shareholder meeting, confirming its major upgrades and the official reveal date. This new version isn't just improved, it's a complete redesign built for real-world autonomy. Inside Tesla's production floor, Gen 3 robots are already walking, working, and charging themselves with zero human control. The future Musk promised is no longer coming, it's already here. Hey guys, welcome to NextGen AI. Tesla's Optimus just got some major upgrades, and today, we're breaking them down one by one. First off, inside Tesla's production floor, Gen 3 robots are roaming freely, fully autonomous. No cables, no joystick control, no human supervision. They navigate hallways, lift components, and when their battery dips, they casually walk themselves over to a charging dock like it's the most natural thing in the world. It's the kind of scene you'd expect in a sci-fi movie, except it's not CGI. It's real footage coming from Tesla's Fremont facility in 2025. Now, what makes this version such a big deal? Because Gen 3 is the first true leap, not a step, in humanoid design. Everything about it, from the way it moves to the way it thinks, has been rebuilt from the ground up. The frame is lighter, the actuators are more compact, and the balance control is eerily human. Watch it walk, and you'll notice it no longer looks robotic or clunky. Every joint flexes smoothly. Each footstep has micro-adjustments. Every motion has natural weight. Let's rewind for context. The first Optimus prototype back in 2022 was impressive for what it was, a mechanical skeleton showing proof of concept. Then Gen 2 brought controlled movements and basic manipulation. But Gen 3? It's different. This is Tesla's first humanoid that behaves like a living system. Its 50-plus degrees of freedom allow human-level fluidity. The redesigned actuators use Tesla's new electromechanical architecture that delivers higher torque with less power draw, meaning smoother motion and longer operation on a single charge. The spine, knees, and hips have been tuned for balance that reacts dynamically. It can now recover from slips or bumps without falling. But the real magic lies in the hands. Tesla engineers call them the most difficult mechanical challenge we've ever faced. Each hand now has articulated fingers with high-precision sensors that detect force, texture, and angle in real time. You've probably seen the viral clip, Optimus carefully picking up an egg and rotating it between its fingertips without cracking the shell. That wasn't staged. It was a live demo. Optimus Gen 3 is now capable of manipulating everyday objects that most robots can't even identify. Folding laundry, stacking items, wiping surfaces, picking up trash, sorting materials, all done autonomously. Tesla's AI team trained these behaviors using the same vision-based neural networks that power autopilot. Would you actually want an Optimus robot in your home? Be honest, helpful assistant or creepy roommate. That means Optimus doesn't rely on pre-programmed paths. It perceives the world around it through cameras, builds a 3D map of its environment, and makes decisions on the fly. It's not reacting, it's reasoning. It understands the difference between a tool and a dish, between something fragile and something heavy. It can generalize actions. If it learns how to pick up one towel, it can handle any towel. That level of generalization is exactly what separates a toy robot from a real worker. Inside Tesla facilities, these robots are now assisting with part handling, simple logistics, and cleaning tasks. They move around staff, detect obstacles, and even mirror human motion for learning tasks. And when they're done, they plug themselves in, literally walking over to their dock and recharging. No human involvement. What's wild is that Gen 3's brain runs on Tesla's unified AI platform, the same system training millions of self-driving cars every day. Every Optimus unit collects data, improves through reinforcement learning, and sends that knowledge back to Tesla's neural network. Essentially, the entire robot fleet learns together. The more they move, the smarter they all get. That's the Tesla effect. Just like Autopilot went from zero to city driving capable in a few years, Optimus is evolving through iteration speed no other robotics company can match. Each update improves walking, dexterity, and problem solving, almost like over-the-air software updates for a human body. Gen 3 also got a full aesthetic redesign. The outer shell is smoother, more organic, and made from lightweight composite materials to reduce weight and improve energy efficiency. 
The proportions are closer to a fit adult human, around 5 feet 8 inches, 55 kilograms, and capable of carrying 20 kilograms comfortably. The motion control system now allows dynamic balancing, so you can push it slightly, and it re-centers itself just like a person would. The cameras, placed in the head and torso, have ultra-wide field vision with depth perception. Combine that with Tesla's neural net inference chip, and you get real-time scene understanding at millisecond latency. It doesn't just see the world, it interprets it. If you're excited about where Tesla and humanoid robots are heading, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We cover every major AI and robotics breakthrough right here on NextGen AI. Now here's where things go from exciting to absolutely insane. Tesla is not just building robots, it's industrializing them. The company already has a pilot line in Fremont producing early Gen 3 units, and the ramp plan looks almost impossible. Phase 1, 1 million units per year from Fremont. Phase 2, 10 million units annually from Giga Texas. And long term, Tesla's global target is hundreds of millions of Optimus units. Let that sink in, hundreds of millions of humanoids potentially in circulation before 2035. For comparison, humanity produced about 1.5 billion cars in the last century. Tesla wants to surpass that within a few decades with robots, and they're treating this exactly like a car business. Optimus shares over 70% of its supply chain components with Tesla's vehicle ecosystem, sensors, batteries, actuators, chips, meaning the scaling potential is enormous. When Musk said, this will be the fastest manufacturing ramp of any complex product ever built, he wasn't exaggerating. The economic implications are beyond massive. Each Optimus Gen 3 unit costs roughly $20,000 at scale, the same ballpark as a Toyota Corolla. For that price, you're getting a worker that never sleeps, never gets sick, and never asks for a paycheck. Imagine what that does to global production. Factories could operate 24-7 without overtime. Construction costs could drop by 80 to 90 percent. Farming, logistics, mining, all could be automated with near-zero human labor. Tesla's term for this vision is sustainable abundance. The idea is simple but radical. When physical work becomes infinitely available and infinitely cheap, the cost of goods collapses. Housing, food, energy, everything could drop to near zero marginal cost. It's the first step toward an economy where basic needs aren't constrained by human labor. Now, this is where things get emotional. Tesla's collaboration with Neuralink could make Gen 3 not just an autonomous worker, but a full body extension for humans. We've already seen Neuralink allow a paralyzed person to control a computer cursor with thought alone. The next milestone is giving someone full body motion using an Optimus frame. Imagine a person who's been unable to walk for years suddenly standing, running, or dancing again, not in virtual reality, but in the real world, through a robotic body they control with their brain. The feedback system would even transmit sensation, texture, pressure, maybe even warmth. For people with severe disabilities, that's not science fiction. It's hope. But the same tech raises profound questions. What happens when a human consciousness can effectively live through a robot body? Where does the boundary between mind and machine end? Tesla calls it symbiosis. Critics call it digital reincarnation. Either way, it's coming faster than anyone expected. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. The biggest engineering obstacle remains the hand. Recreating the precision and control of 27 bones and 34 muscles in a lightweight electromechanical system is brutally hard. Each movement requires micro-level torque control, instant feedback, and fine motor algorithms that can adjust in milliseconds. Then there's perception. Real-world environments are chaotic, reflections, fabric folds, lighting shifts, unpredictable human movement. Training an AI that can adapt safely in that chaos is an enormous challenge. Tesla's solution is to feed the robots massive amounts of real-world data through simulated environments powered by the Dojo supercomputer. But even then, the gap between lab and life is tricky. Manufacturing at scale is another mountain. No one's ever built millions of humanoid robots before. The actuator supply chain, high-density batteries, heat management systems all need to be designed from scratch. Tesla is essentially inventing a new industry in real time. Here's what's next. 
The version Tesla showed at the 2025 shareholder meeting is Optimus 2.5, the final prototype before Gen 3 goes into full production in 2026. After that, Tesla plans annual upgrades, Gen 4 in 2027, Gen 5 in 2028, and so on. Each one lighter, smarter, faster, and more efficient. That pace mirrors the smartphone industry. Just like we went from flip phones to facial recognition in a decade, humanoids will go from factory assistants to fully capable personal helpers by 2030. The robot in your living room will evolve faster than any consumer technology in history. Here's the kicker. This isn't just a passion project. It's tied directly to Tesla's long-term business incentives. The company's CEO Performance Award for 2025 includes milestones like deploying 1 million Optimus units by 2035. If Tesla hits them, Musk's payout could exceed $1 trillion. Over 75% of shareholders already approved it. That means every executive, every engineer, every dollar in R&D is aligned toward mass-producing humanoids. This isn't hype, it's strategy. Tesla is betting its entire future on automation, betting that Optimus will one day generate more revenue than all their vehicles combined. And with a projected price of $20,000 per unit and demand from both households and industries, that's not unrealistic. Think about where this goes. Factories with no lights because robots don't need them. Construction sites running 24-7. Hospitals using humanoids as physical assistants. Families owning personal robots that cook, clean, and lift heavy objects. Within a decade, these machines could be as common as washing machines. Do you think Tesla's humanoid robots will really replace human workers? Or will they just create new kinds of jobs? I'm curious where you stand on this. But there's also a philosophical shift happening here. For centuries, civilization has been built on human labor. Now we're building something that could remove labor from the equation entirely. What happens when every human task can be done by a machine? Faster, safer, and cheaper? Maybe that's the point. Tesla's vision isn't just to build a robot. It's to reshape the concept of work, ownership, and productivity itself. Optimus Gen 3 isn't just a milestone for Tesla. It's a line in the sand for human progress. It walks, it learns, it adapts, and soon it will scale. The same company that electrified transportation is now electrifying labor. Right now, inside Tesla's walls, Optimus Gen 3 units are walking around, observing, learning, perfecting. Production lines are forming, costs are dropping, AI is evolving, and humanity is quietly stepping into an era where robots will become our most common co-workers. The future isn't waiting. It's already moving, recharging, and getting ready to ship by the millions. And when you finally see one of these humanoids walking down your street, it won't feel like the future arriving. It'll feel like the future clocking in for work.